all right guys welcome back to yet another video in today's video you can see we are at a lake this is my actually a reservoir it's my favorite reservoir it's tongue river reservoir in montana it's my favorite reservoir i love fishing for smallies up here largies uh whatever else is um we had a really good day today caught two fish you guys are going to be able to see that in the video uh one smallmouth and one walleye so i uh, had a pretty good day out here stay tuned all right let's go catch some smallmouth so I'm walking down to the spot. I got my seven foot medium heavy power fast action rod, uh, 6.4 to one gear ratio reel, so it's a little slower. 30 pound braid, 14 pound fluorocarbon leader down to a quarter ounce finesse jig. Strike King Bitsy Bug finesse jig. Whenever I'm fishing for smallmouth, sometimes I like to downsize. Actually, 99% of the time I like to downsize because uh, smallies obviously have a smaller mouth. Um, and also, so for some reason, they like to go for the smaller, like, prey. So that's what we're going to do. And I see a really, really nice spot coming up here because you can see the wood around here. And actually, I'm wearing my polarized shades right now. And this actually looks like a really good spot. Heck yeah. I also have some flipping and pitching gear with me as well. So if I uh, feel that I need to do a little bit of flipping and pitching, I will. Let me set my drag. So I'm not going to break off on a big bass. Set my GoPro angle. Perfect. All right, first cast of the day. Perfect. A little bit windy out here. Normally, if I was fishing for largemouth in these conditions, I'd be doing a little bit of spinnerbait fishing, but um, I feel like this technique right now is perfect for smallies. A lot of times with smallmouth, uh, they usually hit it the first thing, first time they see it, so. If I'm fishing that spot and I don't and I didn't get a bite, chances are um, there was really no activity right there. So I'm going to move down a little bit. Best part about polarized shades in these conditions is that you're able to see if there's any fish most of the time in these spots. So that's another thing that I'm able to see if there's uh, any fish in these spots. And a few times ago, I fished here a few days ago, and I lost a monster smallie. He was probably four and a half, five pounds. So, however, I have been killing the walleye out of here recently. I've been trying to catch bass, and uh, I've been catching a lot of walleye recently. Not really on purpose, but hey, if I catch any walleye, that's good eating, right? Anytime you guys have a chance to fish a spot where nobody else can get to that's very, very low pressured, fish it because that's probably where you're going to catch your bigger fish. It's probably where you're going to find the most variety of fish. There's still going to be fish at highly pressured spots because this next spot I go to is going to be really, really pressured. But uh, the best part about this next spot is that there's a lot of fish around. I'm not going to promise there's a giant because I know there are a few giants in there. But this next spot that I'm going up to is really, 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 really good. Um, for a variety of fish So there's smallies walleye uh, There's no trout in this reservoir, but there's smallies walleye pike um, Largemouth there's a lot of stuff over here, so I Mean I'm gonna try my best to go over here and catch some smallmouth, but I'm not gonna promise a monster But the average fish out of here is about two pounds for smallies, so um, I don't see why we wouldn't have any luck over here. I mean, I'm fishing the right bait, so um, and if I don't catch any fish on this bait, I, I have a few other baits tied up on my other rods that we can try. But uh, we're going to come to a, a place here in a little bit where it's perfect for flipping and pitching. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of flipping and pitching as well. Let's try to catch a bass over this way now. Hopefully the storm passes. Hopefully we don't get having to get stuck in the middle of that. I mean, I at least hope it passes. I mean, I can't make any promises, but I hope that it goes right past us and we don't have to deal with it. There we go. Fish on. Oh, that's a smallie. There we go. That's a good smallie. Good fish right here. Get up here. Oh, look at that, guys great small e catch right there we got him we got him come here look at that 
Nice small mouth right there. Boom. That right there is what I'm talking about. Nice small mouth right there. Ate that jig. That is what we came out here for. Not the pike, not the walleye. Came out here for the beautiful smallies. Bam. That right there is what I'm talking about. Right there. Boom. I'm actually planning on eating a few of these for um, dinner tonight. Walleye is one of my, or uh, smallmouth is one of my favorite fish to eat. So we're going to go ahead and eat this guy. Go ahead and dispatch him real quick. And then we're going to get back to fishing. Dispatched him off camera. Let's go catch some more fish. All right, switched up to the blade bait. There we go. Fish on. What do we got? Little walleye. Little walleye. Nice. I think it's my first walleye for you guys on camera. Little walleye. Not a giant. Not a giant at all. Um, I've actually caught a lot of walleye, but I don't think I've ever caught one for you guys on camera. Nice. Well, that's food. Let me see if I can grab them. There you go, guys. Nice little walleye. Beautiful for eating, so we're going to go ahead and eat this guy. I just saw him grab that blade bait, so I'm going to knock him out and run him over to my truck real quick. If I can't grab him for you guys. Nice walleye right there. He'll probably go... I don't know, 10 inches. No size limit on walleye, so keep this little walleye. And uh, we'll keep uh, keep trucking along, trying to catch some fish. I switched up to that blade bait, very first cast on that blade bait. This guy uh, destroyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this where I go out and I fish my favorite lakes and stuff like that, do not forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay on the bar, but I will catch you guys again on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Let's do it.